Okay, now we're going to go over the Dante Accelerator card settings. This is where you can set the, the um, settings for the card that you installed in your computer to interface with the Nuage uh, I.O. units, the Neo units. So the way we change settings for this device is in Nuendo or in Cubase, we go up to Devices and select Device Setup. And then in the Devices list, you will see Yamaha AIC 128D. And if you click on that, that over here gives you any parameters that you can change for that card. Um, we're gonna go over a couple of these parameters. We're gonna go over how to adjust the latency, and I'm gonna briefly explain what direct monitoring is. So over here you can see that um, we can see our input and output latency of the system. It's just around three milliseconds right now for an audio si signal to pass through our DAW. Um, but if we were tracking and our artist did not want to hear that latency and that delay in their, in their monitors, the way we would change that is we would click Control Panel and change the buffer size. Now there's no such thing as a free lunch, so we can lower the buffer size, which you will see will eliminate our latency basically. It's less than a millisecond. And, and so, latency has gone down, which means that delay that an artist would hear is going to be inaudible. But you can see up here, our CPU processing power has just gone away. I mean, it's eating all the power our CPU has, basically, to, to process that audio. And so if we had a lot of effects and plugins in this session, uh, the computer wouldn't be able to keep up and it would drop audio. Um, so for tracking, this is acceptable to change the buffer size to a low number. Um, but once you start editing and mixing, you're going to want to raise that buffer size. So you can see here, if I raise the buffer size, the latency goes way up. But the CPU power, now we have tons of power to layer plugins and effects and, and begin editing. The computer is going to be very fast and responsive but we're going to have a lot of latency, so that's not optimal for tracking. So I've found a happy medium around 128, 192 for most of the sessions I'm doing, um, which gives me low latency, just around three milliseconds, and plenty of CPU power to, to edit and process multiple tracks of audio. And so this is where you can change, the buffer size is how you change um, CPU power versus latency. Another cool feature of the Nuosh system is it is possible to get uh, no latency monitoring if you choose to do what's called direct monitoring. Direct monitoring is activated by checking this checkbox here um, under the settings. And what it does is it keeps audio from having to pass through the computer. So you can route the audio of the artist's microphone right to their um, in-ear monitors without um, having to process that audio on the computer. Um, it's, it's basically a direct analog connection, basically. And so the, the latency is basically nothing. Um, the downside to that is if the artist wants to hear a little bit of reverb or, or some other effect in their monitors, they won't be able to, to hear that because the audio is not passing through the computer. It's passing through the Yamaha Neo unit. Um, and so, for most of the time, I'm able to track just using direct monitoring. Um, but if I have an artist that would like to have some plugins in their monitors, I can uncheck that, change the buffer size to get the latency down to a, a low number, one or two milliseconds, and, and we can track just fine and they can have the, the desired plugin in their ears. But for most of the time, I like to leave direct monitoring engaged, um, and, and then I can increase my buffer size and have more horsepower for, for editing and, and uh, other effects and plugins in my session. So that's a brief overview of the device setup settings. Uh, once again, if you have any additional questions regarding this, feel free to email Brad. Uh, his email address is brad at pullsound.com and we will be sure to, to respond and help you out or, or create a tutorial based on your request.